Hello friends, again most welcome to our YouTube channel Mozambique Pharmacy Info Line. Today we are going to start the new series for M Pharmacy first year. Modern pharmaceutical analytical techniques we are going to see. This subject will remain common for all the departments. It may be pharmaceutics, pharmacology or pharmaceutical quality assurance or regulatory affairs. So stay connected with our channel. I will provide you all the notes. So we are today we are going to see about the UV visible spectroscopy. So generally UV spectroscopy is concerned with the study of absorption of UV radiation generally this UV radiation is ranges from the 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer this is a range of UV radiation uh, but the compounds which are colored which uh, absorb the radiation from 400 to 800 nanometer means UV range is colorless to eyes while visible range is characterized with the color but the compounds which are colorless absorb the radiation in UV, uh, UV range as I said that the, the compounds which are colorless which absorb the radiation from UV range that is 200 to 400 nanometer but the compounds which are colored that absorb the radiation from 400 to 800 nanometer let's see the principle of uv spec visible spectroscopy it is an photometric technique which state that when a beam of light that is incident light which we indicate by i0 passes through a solution means uh, when a uv light is passes through a, passes through in one medium some part of light it get absorbed means uh, uh, and some part of light it is get reflected which we represent by ir and some part of light it is get transmitted means uh, uh, suppose that a, a one container is that and we are passing through a uv light so some light it is get absorbed some light it is get transmitted or some light it is get reflected so it is an principle of uv spectroscopy the common solvent used for preparing the sample to be analyzed in is uh, uh, either ethyl alcohol or hexane in uv visible spectroscopy we use the solvent ethyl alcohol and hexane for analyzing our compounds let's see the next part we uh, understand the UV uh, spectroscopy with the help of one graph. So UV is it is an uh, concerned with the wavelength versus absorption. Uh, so the note that when we perform the practical, we go from 800 nanometer to 200 nanometer. Why? Because 800 nanometer has low energy and 200 nanometers has the highest energy. Here I said that note that 800 nanometer has lowest energy and 200 nanometer has the highest energy. So while performing the practical, we come from 800 nanometers to 200 nanometers. Like like what that our graph is obtained for example i have given one example that in 350 nanometer our compound get excited means electrons of the compound get excited for and gives the signal in a uv means our compound get excited in a 350 nanometer so we go from 800 nanometers to 200 nanometer because 800 nanometer has lowest energy and 200 nanometer has highest energy this is a concept of uv visible spectroscopy let's see the instrumentation of uv visible spectroscopy first of all you have to write uh, draw draw this uh, diagram in a, your exam for better marks as you can see in the diagram here is a radiation source is one there in the uv visual spectroscopy instrumentation here is a monochromator here is an entrance slit here is an exit slit here is a monochromatic light it, it is in our chopper it, there are two mirrors and here is a reference qubit and here is a uh, sample qubit there are two detectors and uh, detectors and one amplifier and our recorder so uh, let's see the working of the uv visible spectroscopy when a radiation source eliminate the uh, our radiation source has the multiple uh, lights means polychromatic light is there so we have to convert into the monochromatic lights means poly means many lights are there in the uh, radiation source we have we want only the monochromatic light so we are using the monochromator for getting the monochromatic light so our monochromatic light it will goes to the chopper from chopper it will uh, divide it into two two lights or two rays from that mirror it will transmute transfer to the uh, reference qubit which is uh, used for the uh, samples also here is a sample qubit so uh, it is an our sample which is, uh, we are going to analyze here is here is a standard so after uh, this uh, rays it will goes to the detectors from detectors it will goes to the amplifier and from from amplifier it will goes to the recorded so it is an instrumentation of uv visible spectroscopy uh, let's see in uh, wording what i said uh, the uv uh, the radiation source radiate the uv visible light first of all what uh, what happened the u uh, the radiation source uh, what what it will do it will radiate Radiate the UV visible light, then it will go to the monochromator. The monochromator it will convert the polychromatic light into the monochromatic light. Means single light uh, in the monochromator, monochromator will convert the light. Then uh, let's see the monochromator consists of many parts like entrance slit, uh, gratings, gratings. It is uh, in terms of uh, prisms, reflecting lens, and exit slit. After combining this all part, it acts as a monochromator. Now this monochromatic light it, it goes to the chopper, which split our light into the 
two equal and so one part of light it goes to the reference cuvet and another part uh, will goes to the sample cuvet mainly and this uh, cuvet is used for the keeping our sample then it will goes to the detectors then uh, detectors what detectors do it will convert the light energy into the electrical signals then it will goes to the amplifier which amplifies the signals and finally our uh, result it is recorded into the EV visible spectroscopy let's see one by one in detail the radiation source there are two types of lamps used in the UV visible spectrophotometer first one will be the hydrogen deuterium lamp it is also known as H2 D2 lamp for, for the range of 200 to 375 nanometer the range of hydro hydrogen deuterium lamp is 200 to 375 nanometer and then the tungsten filament lamp we also can use in the UV visible spectroscopy it covers the range from 375 to 800 nanometer you have to draw the diagrams of uh, uh, this uh, bu bulbs individually and in the monochromator you have to draw this diagram when you are exp uh, explaining in detail in your exam let's see the monochromator the purpose of monochromator is to convert the polychromatic light into the monochromatic monochromatic light as i said that uh, different parts of monochromator are as follows we will see the different parts as there is an uh, one enter slit gratings and uh, or prism if you also call it as a prism then reflecting lens is there and then exit slit is a uh, is there uh, cuvet let's see the cuvet what is cuvet it is an sample holder we uh, hold the sample in the cuvet it is an uh, made up of uh, quartz or glass and uh, what Cuvette, it is made up of glass or quartz then let's see the detectors what about detectors these are the devices which converts the light energy into the electrical signals there are three types of detectors firstly photo multiply tube is there then photodiode array is there then charged couple detector is there we will see in detail about the photo multiply tube this type of detector is mostly uh, most sensitive and as compared to the other detectors means this photo multiply tube is more, uh, very very detective as compared to this one and this one and only used in a very special instrument like UV visible spectroscopy let's see the principle employed in this detector is the multiplication of photo electrons by secondary emission of the electron this is a diagram of the photo multiplier tube it is a section of this one and uh, it is horizontally looks like this uh, tube so there is a dynode uh, chain and here is a uh, photo cathode and here is a shield so when the light comes from here it will uh, goes like 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 this and uh, exit from anode as the output of photo multiply tube is uh, only in milliampere so it is useful for detection of very weak signals also let's see the applications of UV visible spectroscopy first application is for detection of functional group we can detect the any functional group in your compound to differentiate the conjugated and non conjugated compound identification of unknown compound then identification of compound in the different solvent then determination of strength of the hydrogen one means what is the strength of hydrogen one you can determine with the help of UV visible spectroscopy also it is applied in the acid based titration or oxidation reduction like titration hope so you will get uh, got the uh, idea about the uv visible spectroscopy uh, in next lecture we will uh, detail uh, we will see in detail about the next point thank you for watching our uh, video and stay connected with our channel for such m form uh, notes handwritten notes uh, i will provide you all the notes of uh, pharmaceutical quality assurance uh, as well as the pharmaceutical pharmaceutics so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching our video